Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video dives into the highly anticipated movie, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. This is the fifth installment in the MonsterVerse franchise, and if, for those who haven't been able to catch it in theaters yet, don't worry. We'll be breaking down the entire story in this video, so you can experience the epic battles and uncover the mysteries from the comfort of your home. If you're ready to dive into the world of titans, then let's get started. But before we jump in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget, hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell ensures you catch all our latest uploads first, so you can stay on top of the MonsterVerse action. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And to spark some discussion, let's settle this age-old debate in the comments, Team Godzilla or Team Kong? Personally, I lean towards Godzilla, but let me know who reigns supreme for you. Just drop a comment below, are you Team Godzilla or Team Kong? Alright, without further ado, let's dive into that epic story. The new empire journey begins deep within the mysterious hollow earth. Here, we find Kong locked in an epic brawl with a pack of ferocious giant jackals. These aren't your average canine companions, think monstrous beasts with razor-sharp teeth. Kong proves his might by dominating the fight, sending the remaining jackals scrambling for cover. But victory comes at a cost. As Kong devours two of the fallen jackals to satiate his hunger, we witness a grimace of pain cross his face. It seems one of his massive teeth is causing him significant trouble. Switching gears to the surface world, we find ourselves in the awe-inspiring city of Rome. But Aw quickly turns to terror as a colossal spider monster, eerily reminiscent of Skyla, descends upon the city, wreaking havoc. Thankfully, humanity's protector, Godzilla, arrives on the scene with his signature atomic breath. In a swift and decisive display of power, Godzilla obliterates the monstrous arachnid, saving the city from further destruction. Victorious, Godzilla settles down for a well-deserved rest within the iconic Colosseum, leaving the humans of Rome safe for now. Tori then returns to the depths of Hollow Earth. Delving deeper into Hollow Earth, we encounter a monarch team specifically deployed to monitor the subterranean ecosystem and its inhabitants. Everything seems stable, until a jolt erupts on their monitoring equipment, a powerful shockwave originating from somewhere within the Earth's core. Despite initial dismissal, the Monarch team transmits this concerning report to their surface headquarters. Topside, Drive, Eileen Andrews receives the report, her brow furrowed with concern as she examines the data. What could be causing such a significant disturbance in the depths of Hollow Earth? We learn that the Monarch outpost in Hollow Earth is strategically located near a massive portal. This gateway serves as a direct link between the surface and the Earth's core, making it a prime location for monitoring the subterranean world. Doctor, Andrews receives the report about the shockwave, scrutinizing the data but finding nothing immediately conclusive. Andrews' personal life, she's adopted a young girl named Jaw, who attends a special needs school alongside other deaf children. Here, we see Jaw engrossed in her studies. Suddenly, Jaw experiences a surge of visions. Images of Kong and Hollow Earth flash through her mind. Driven by this overwhelming experience, she frantically sketches what she saw on her paper. Her teacher observes the unusual drawing and brings it to Dr. Andrews' attention. Concerned, drive. Andrews asks Jaw about the drawing, but the young girl can only express fear and a worry for Kong's well-being. Intrigued, drive, Andrews studies Jia's drawing further. A strange feeling washes over her as she compares it to the report on the shockwave. A startling realization dawns on her, the patterns in Jia's drawing eerily mirror the data from the Hollow Earth outpost. Could there be a connection? Doctor, Andrews races to Monarch headquarters, urgently seeking her superior's attention. She emphasizes the strange coincidence between Gia's drawing and the shockwave report, hinting at a deeper problem within Hollow Earth. However, her superior remains unconvinced, dismissing her concerns. Undeterred, drive, Andrews seeks out Bernie. Upon examining Gia's drawing in the report, confirms the striking similarity. This solidifies drive, Andrews belief that something sinister is brewing underground. Returning to Monarch HQ, drive, Andrews receives a devastating update. The Hollow Earth team responsible for the shockwave report has gone silent. All communication has been lost, leaving their fate in the source of the disturbance a terrifying mystery. Meanwhile, on the surface world, drive, Andrews notices a shift in Gia's behavior. The young girl seems drawn to a specific location, a place near a mysterious portal. Intrigued, Doctor, Andrews follows Jaw, leading them both to witness a colossal figure emerge from the portal, Kong himself. Exhausted and seemingly injured, Kong collapses nearby. Driven by a powerful connection she can't explain, Jaw rushes to Kong's side, with Doctor. Andrews close behind a veterinarian with extensive experience treating large animals whose name Trapper. Trapper examines Kong, diagnosing a severe infection in one of his massive teeth. This infection is the source of Kong's immense pain. Taking decisive action, Trapper carefully renders Kong unconscious before extracting the infected tooth. With a bio-engineered replacement tooth fitted, Kong begins to show signs of recovery. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, a surge of activity disrupts the peace in Rome. 
Godzilla suddenly rises from his slumber within the Colosseum and plunges into the ocean depths. This sudden action triggers an alert at Monarch headquarters. Given Kong's recent arrival on the surface, Monarch initially fears a looming clash between the two titans. However, tracking Godzilla's movements reveals a surprising truth, he's not heading towards Kong. Instead, Godzilla is charting a course towards an unknown destination, leaving Monarch scrambling to decipher his motives. Meanwhile, a concerning development emerges. While Godzilla devours a source of radiation to replenish his energy, his dorsal plates begin to glow with an unsettling pink hue. This anomaly baffles Monarch scientists. Unaware of Godzilla's predicament, Drive, Andrews and her team are laser-focused on their own mission. With Bernie by her side, along with Trapper and another team member, they prepare to venture into Hollow Earth. Fueled by Gia's connection to Kong and the unsettling coincidence with the shockwave report, Drive, Andrews is determined to unravel the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. As Kong recovers, a specialized flying vehicle awaits the team. Following the portal activated by Kong's arrival, Drive, Andrews, Bernie, Trapper, and their additional team member embark on a perilous journey into the uncharted depths of Hollow Earth. Descending into the heart of Hollow Earth, Drive, Andrews grapples with the unfolding events. Bernie fills her in on a crucial detail, the existence of the Eve people. Apparently, this civilization thrives in two locations, one within Hollow Earth and another on Skull Island. Tragically, a devastating storm wiped out the Skull Island Eve population years ago, leaving Ja as the sole survivor. This revelation sparks a connection in Dr. Andrew's mind, she recalls learning about the dominance of titans in prehistoric times. These colossal creatures ruled the world, and among them were primate titans, ancestors of Kong perhaps. Could there be a link between the Eve people, the ancient titans, and the current situation? Their descent continues, the mysteries of Hollow Earth deepening with each passing moment. As Dr. Andrews contemplates the connection between the Eve people and the Titans, Bernie drops another bombshell. He reveals the existence of an ancient, malevolent being, the Scar King. This monstrous primate Titan, driven by a lust for power, once waged war against Godzilla's kind. Though defeated, the Scar King and his followers weren't destroyed. Instead, they were banished deep within Hollow Earth, imprisoned in a fiery, volcanic domain to ensure their eternal confinement. Andrew's mind races with possibilities. Could the disturbance in Hollow Earth be linked to the Scar King's restless spirit? Is he somehow responsible for Kong's injury and Godzilla's strange behavior? The team's descent takes on a new urgency as they delve deeper into the heart of Hollow Earth, determined to uncover the truth and face whatever dangers may lie ahead. Bernie elaborates further, revealing the existence of another crucial figure, Mothra, a benevolent titan and Godzilla's occasional ally. He explains that the Eve people revered Mothra as a protector, offering her worship in gratitude for her guardianship. However, tragedy struck when Mothra perished. Despite this loss, the Eve people cling to a powerful belief, Mothra can be resurrected. Only the Eve people possess the knowledge and ability to facilitate this monumental feat. This revelation adds another layer to the mystery. Could Ja, the sole surviving Skull Island Eve, be the key to bringing Mothra back? Meanwhile, meanwhile, deep within Hollow Earth, Kong navigates the uncharted landscape. His journey leads him to a cascading waterfall. As he crosses the rushing water, a small, vibrant orange monkey titan appears. Initially, Kong perceives the creature as harmless, even reaching out in a gesture of greeting. However, the innocent facade quickly shatters. The small titan bites down on Kong's hand, revealing a vicious streak. This encounter serves as a wake-up call for Kong, hinting at the dangers lurking within Hollow Earth. The situation escalates further as three more massive monkey titans emerge, their forms mirroring the smaller creature's orange coloration. A fierce battle ensues as Kong fends off the attackers. With his immense strength and agility, he overpowers them, sending one plummeting down a deep crevice. Terrorized by Kong's might, the remaining two titans flee the scene. Victorious but wary, Kong turns his attention to the small orange titan. Through gestures and primal communication, Kong conveys his desire to be led to the heart of this hostile monkey titan society. As the small orange titan leads Kong deeper, the journey becomes treacherous. The trickery continues, but Kong outsmarts the creature at every turn. Hunger pangs strike Kong, and he communicates his need for food. The small titan, seemingly impressed by the act of kindness signifies a shift. The small titan now recognizes Kong as a worthy companion. Together, they arrive at the heart of the monkey titan society, a fiery, lava-laden domain. Here, a vast group of monkey titans toil endlessly, oppressed by a domineering presence. Standing before them is the imposing figure of the Scar King. A fierce battle erupts as Kong confronts the malevolent titan. Kong holds his own, delivering powerful blows. In a desperate move, the Scar King rips a bone ornament from his body, revealing a pulsating blue crystal nestled within. As the Scar King clutches the crystal, a monstrous creature materializes from the shadows, Shimo. This horrifying entity seems to be under the Scar King's control, subservient to his will channeled through the blue crystal. Shimo's icy breath proves too powerful. Despite deflecting the initial attack with his axe, 
Kong sustains a severe injury, his hand is encased in ice. Realizing he's outmatched, Kong prioritizes escape. The small orange titan, showing a surprising shift in allegiance, leads him towards a hidden cave, offering a chance to flee. Kong plunges into the cave, desperate to distance himself from the pursuing Scar King and his monstrous creation. Scar King, enraged by Kong's defiance, unleashes a contingent of his monkey titan followers in hot pursuit. Despite his injuries, Kong fights back with ferocity, outsmarting and eliminating his pursuers. However, one cunning titan manages to evade Kong's wrath, escaping unseen. Unaware of this hidden threat, Kong, battered and wounded, continues his escape. In the midst of his struggle, a profound sensation washes over Kong. He senses Jia's presence somewhere nearby. Driven by this inexplicable connection, Kong pushes forward, his primal instincts guiding him towards the very location where Jaw stands with the Eve people and Doctor. Andrews, their paths are about to converge, the fate of Hollow Earth hanging in the balance. As Doctor, Andrews, her team, and the Eve people prepare for the Mothra Awakening ritual, a colossal figure emerges from the shadows, Kong, battered and wounded. Jaw rushes to his side, her emotions a mix of relief and concern. The sight of Kong's injuries, a hand encased in Shimo's icy blast, prompts Trapper to intervene. He declares the need for the Super House, a monarch invention designed to augment the power of Titans. Doctor, Andrews sheds light on the Super House's origins. In the wake of Mechagodzilla's attack, she recognized the looming threats the world faced, threats that even Godzilla and Kong might struggle against. Therefore, Monarch devised a means to harness the Titan's immense power for good, the Super House. We also know that it is said that the Super House can attach to the bodies of all these Titans and can harness their powers. So that all of them can save the world from the ever-coming danger. Injured, Kong stumbles upon Drive, Andrews and the Eve people. A fleeing Scar King follower discovers a portal to the surface world and alerts Scar King. The villain, atop Shimo, rallies his army, aiming to conquer Earth through the portal. As Kong recovers, the Eve people, including Jaw, press on with the Mothra ritual. Trace it to Kong's injured hand. Combined with a special injection, the Super House not only heals but strengthens Kong's hand beyond its original state. Scar King, fueled by ambition, rallies his entire army. Mounted atop Shimo, he prepares to lead his forces through the portal, his sights set on conquering the surface world, for domination. Meanwhile, the Eve people, including Jaw, complete the Mothra ritual, awakening the benevolent Titan. Unaware of the impending surface attack, a healed and empowered Kong emerges from the portal. Meanwhile, a fully recharged Godzilla, with pink dorsal plates, bursts from the ocean depths, heading straight for Kong. The stage is set for a colossal clash on two fronts, above and below the Earth's surface. Godzilla, charged with radiation, confronts a healed Kong. Just as they're about to clash, Mothra, awakened by the ritual, intervenes. She urges them to unite against a greater threat, Scar King and his army. The epic showdown between Titans commences Mothra unites Godzilla and Kong. They burst through the portal, ready to face Scar King. A colossal battle erupts, Godzilla tackles Shimo, while Kong confronts Scar King. The fight spills onto the surface world, with Godzilla, Kong, Scar King, and Shimo locked in an epic clash. But when Kong comes to the surface through the portal, his axe remains inside the hollow earth, due to which it is very difficult for Kong to fight without axe, but even here Godzilla gives a good fight to Shimo and Kong somehow he is facing Scar King but here we see that Scar King again uses his crystal and he controls Shimo and uses it to attack both Godzilla and Kong with ice breath. And now because Shimo is bigger and more powerful than Godzilla, his ice breath is very heavy on both of them. In the epic fight, a surprising turn the little monkey titan, using Kang's dropped axe, shatters the control crystal. Freed from Scar King's power, the monkey titans turn against him, leaving him alone. Godzilla and Kong seize the opportunity, double-teaming Scar King and pummeling him. Shimo intervenes, blasting Scar King with ice breath, completely freezing him. Kong throws the frozen Scar King, defeating him for good. The threat of Scar King is eliminated. After the end of Scar King, everything becomes fine and then, Godzilla goes back to Rome City and comes. There and sleeps inside the gladiators, grounds and on the other side, Kong Shimo and the small monkey titan. Kong goes straight to all the monkey titans. And there as soon as everyone comes to know that Scar King has been eliminated, all the monkey titans become very happy. And then with this Kong as the new king of all the monkeys. At the same Dr. Andrews and his team are also there. They come back to Earth from Hollow Earth and Gia also happily starts living with Dr. Andrews. So friends this movie ends here, hope you you enjoy the video well. Till then don't forget to like the video and make sure subscribe for latest videos like this one, see you soon then also thanks for watching.